Be honest with you, we just try to comp- uh, try to improve every week, try to just get better, and you know just try to affect the guys next to us and just have us play and have us play for each other. One of the guys that's been standing out has been Derwin James because we wanted to see what he was going to be able to do coming in as a freshman. How impressed have you been with his play? Very impressed, man. He comes. He comes in with the attitude every day to get better. You know, he take culture, you know what I'm saying? Even when I'm talking, you know, he never says anything but he just shake his head and going by going by his business, you know. Durham's a great guy. How much does it help this defense when you have corners that can make their tackles? Uh, uh not just this not with just this defense. It's every defense. If if you got a corner that can make tackles, then you know you got some pretty good defense. Yeah, I mean, both of your, your corners are doing that, too, with Marquez White and Jalen Ramsey. So that's got to make everything kind of easier when you're able to kind of shut down the ends. Yeah, you know, it, it does make everything easier. But, you know, we try to get everybody to, you know, be a good tackler on defense. You guys have answered the bell on every single situation that you guys have needed, whether, you know, it's a tool threat, if it's, you know, triple option, whatever it is, you guys have answered the bell. Clemson seems like it's going to be the, the, the toughest test that you guys are going to have. What have you seen from Clemson so far? Man, they're a great team. You know, great quarterback, very good offensive lineman, real good running back, great um, wide receivers. They are, they are very talented, you know, very good team. You know, uh, it's the reason why they're, they're ranked top five in the country right now. For them, I mean, even in the games that are close, they're putting up points. How do you guys shut that down? How do you limit them? In points, because I mean, even the close ones are scoring 30, 40 points. To be honest with you, we just got to go out there and just play Florida State football, you know, play good defense, you know, and just, you know, go out there and play sound football. You know, they're going to put up points, you know, they're going to give us their best shot. You know, we just got to continue playing football. Their quarterback, you know, obviously you've seen plenty of dual threat quarterbacks, but what separates him from the dual threats that you guys have seen already? Incredible on strength, very good accuracy. You know what I'm saying? He's very smart, like very good player. I don't usually give quarterbacks, you know, that much, you know, um, that much, I guess, confidence or whatever. But he's he he's, he's very good. On on the flip side for you guys, the offense really got going this this um, last game. Jerk was Patrick. We haven't seen yet. <laughs> what did you think about his game? I, mean, I told people back in the summer, I was like, watch out for Jerk West. I was like, y'all thought Greg Jones was on watch out for Jaco S. Patrick. You know, you guys ain't coming back in Jacksonville. I told him about that when I was working out. Um, you know, and we're not going to get into the situation with, with Cook, but can you think of it, how complimentary those two are going to be when they're able to be on the field at the same time, what that's going to be like? To be honest with you, with either back, you know, um, you know, I'm very comfortable with him. You know what I'm saying? You know, um, you know if Cook can play, I'm pretty sure he's going to do his best. If Jock Quez can only play, I'm pretty sure, you know, he, he's going to hold it down, him or Jay, uh, Jay Vickers. So whoever play, I'm pretty sure that they're going to do their best.